The World Bank is a secular institution, but it's partnering in a major way with uh, global faith groups. We're privileged to have five of those leaders here today, along with Dr. Kim. If the 188 member uh, countries of the World Bank can agree that our mission going forward is to end extreme poverty, then it, it, it really is important for us to make common cause with uh, religious institutions that have been saying the same thing for millennia. I would just share with you one rabbinic commentary on the Torah, which says, there is nothing in the world more grievous than poverty. It is the most terrible of all sufferings. Rather than fighting, let's put our hands together and let's try to resolve the issues of the world. It is unacceptable, ethically, morally, religiously, to have one more poor person on earth. This is a time for collaboration. We really have to work across sectors. Uh, government, and I told uh, Dr. Kim, it's probably as controversial for me as part of the Catholic Church to say we will work with the World Bank. Uh, but we won't be able to get anything done that is meaningful if we don't collaborate. Without really addressing the extremes of uh, uh, unsustainable consumption, you cannot eradicate or alleviate poverty. People may not always listen to their political leaders are their NGOs, but most people will listen to their priests, rabbis, imams, and the gurus. Faith leaders have the ability to change social norms. The moral imperative to end poverty is something we can agree on. But what we also have to, to talk about is what's the best way to get there.